Alright, if you're having trouble setting up your Xbox 360 with your Wi-Fi adapter, um, you know, really it doesn't matter if you have the N adapter or uh, the white one or whatever. This is pretty much going to be the same process. When you've done everything right, like what people do in the videos, and yet it, you still cannot connect to the internet saying something about your static IP address, um, I'm going to show you um, that... Uh, you know, it's an easy fix. I had to call up my mom's uh, friend. You know, he's really smart with technology. And it turns out it's super simple, and I'm going to teach you guys right now. Alright, so right now, now I am hooked up right now to Xbox Live. Okay, this does work. Okay. I am connected. So. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your internet connection. You know, if you got a password, whatever, mine's already hooked up. And you're going to want to go into configure network. Now, for your IP address and your DNS, you're going to have to do that manually. If it's, you know, when it's saying it's automatically not picking it up, um, and you'll know, um, that if down here where it says gateway it's still 0.0.0, .0 whatever where it's like this um, then you know you have to put it in manually alright so uh, I'm gonna walk to my computer yes I could cut the film but whatever it's simpler for me alright we're on the uh, home computer where your Wi-Fi your, uh, is already hooked up to. We're going to go ahead and go to start. And during uh, search programs, we're going to go ahead and type in CMD. Let's see if this will focus you up. This should pop up. Click on that. And let me bring this down. Alright. This should pop up. Okay where it's black and white and it says Microsoft's Windows you know things like that so I am now going to punch in IP C O N F I G so you should type in IP config and just like that you can barely make that out but press enter there you go it will give you your gateway, your subnet mask, and your IP address. Now, even if you did this before and it still didn't work, what I found out today is right here where it says for this is for the IP address, right where it says point one zero two, you have to change that so it is point one oh one. And for your uh, your DNS, um, I used 4.2.2.2. Um, Verizon uh, owns this, and it's been up for years. And since it's Verizon, it'll probably stay up for years. You know, it's what I learned today. It's what I was told. And, um, you know, it works, so I can't just you know disclaim that okay so the only number you really have to change when you come here is change this two to a one um, the rest should be just fine uh, again it may differ to your computer but you know most uh, PCs will use this um, I, I really didn't check out for Macs or anything like that obviously I don't have it except for my laptop but um, there you go just a quick little video on how to do that and I'll run through the steps real quickly we're gonna go ahead and go through start search CMD type in IP config here we are for IP address when we manually do it on the Xbox like I showed you earlier you're going to change the 102 to 101 leave the rest in your DNS 
Uh, it doesn't show on here. You're just going to want to use the 4.2.2.2, all right? So, you know, I was watching a lot of videos about it, and I was just like, you know, all these people, they wouldn't even reply to the, the people who were saying they still had trouble with it. So here you go. Um, if it doesn't help you out, you know, leave me a message or if you're confused about something, all right? And I'll, I usually reply um, pretty quickly within a day or two. But again, you know, if you're having, if you're still having trouble or you don't get it, you know, whatever, you're, um, just let me know, and maybe I can walk you through the steps. All right. So uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.